Hey guys, today we're going to create a simple hourglass timer in Microsoft PowerPoint. You will be able to download this timer, the link will be in the description as well. If this is your first time here, please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Alright, and here we are in the blank presentation. Let's start by inserting some shapes. So we're going to search for these shapes that is made like half of an oval of a circle. It's at the bottom part here. That will be our base shape for the hourglass. I will add some rotation to it. All right, let's fill it with some kind of gray color, separate a little bit from the backdrop. I can simply copy and paste rotate 180 like that and position above the first shape all right move to the center of the slide like this so that's our base for this timer let's add some extra rectangles at the top and the bottom just purely as the visual addition maybe a little bit darker gray color for this part the snapping should help you to position this exactly in the center so that's helpful all right now one more copy of the main shape this time i will turn it into a sand color huh? yellow color all right so that's our main part the most important part this will be the timer itself all right so we need the sand to move from the top to the bottom of this timer so i need one more copy of this element rotate and position this at the bottom like this so the premise is the sand should fall down from the top to the bottom part right so let's adjust the bottom part a little bit so it'll be like not completely full, all right? And now we need to make the top part a little bit shorter. To do that, we can use some uh, shape operations. So if you've got two shapes, you can use operation, like you can subtract one shape from another, you can add them together. Just keep in mind, we need to reorder those shapes, bring the yellow shape to the top, move forward, and now we can subtract the blue shape to kind of cut the part of it from the top like this nice all right so that's all we are almost ready to animate this into a timer but first one more final shape so i will need something that connects the top and the bottom of this so i will use a triangle here okay so this will be while the sand is falling down we got some kind of connection between those two zones Okay, we don't want to be hyper realistic, but this will be nice addition here. All right, everything's here. And now it's time to animate this drawing into a timer. So we can use it to measure how much time passed during the slideshow or why we're giving some tasks to the audience. For the top, we're using the exit animation, the red one, to fade down like this, wipe down. All right, let's set it at 30 seconds for now, then later we can adjust that number. So this will be fading down. Then the center, that's our connection. This will should appear, so that's entrance animation. The green color, from the top to the bottom, of course, like that. And again, we can modify the duration of this effect. As I mentioned, let's just add them first, and then we can play with timing. And the bottom part. This should be not visible at the beginning and then slowly appearing, right? So we're using entry animation again, yet the green one. From the bottom, the sun will go to the bottom of it. And it must be it must be based on the top top shape. So I using the top shape. It will start disappearing. When I click and then this triangle appear and then I need to make the bottom shirt appearing. Right now the bottom shape is not appearing. So I need to change the trigger for it to start exactly in the same time when the top animation is starting. So let's change that. 
we can always modify what will trigger the animation. So let's change that for the bottom shape. It will start with the previous animation, but we will delete that for like two seconds. So it will be two seconds after. We can put this extra delay here. Let's move it up to two seconds and then we will keep that in mind. So we will reduce that from the overall time duration. All right. A little bit of adjustments here in our animation panel. And I think now it will be all right. Let's test it out in the slide. Take a look. The top shape is disappearing and the bottom shape is appearing. Right now, it will take exactly 30 seconds for this hourglass to move all the sand down. This is very usable timer and looks nice. All right. Let's take a look. Almost good. Now, last thing that we need to do is to make this triangle to disappear at the end of the timer, right? We don't want this to stay. So let's deal with that. This triangle should also disappear after all the sand from the top move to the bottom. So that will be really simple to do. What we need to do is simply add another exit animation. As you may remember, the exit is the one with the red color. So we got exit animation right now from the top to the bottom. And this will happen after everything's finished. So we can trigger this after previous. All right. It will take once around one second to disappear. Okay. So that's our, our glass timer. Let's give it a go. But before that, we can adjust the actual time for it. So you can modify that to match your needs. Right now it's 30 seconds, but you can type from the keyboard here. So I will type 120 seconds. So that's two minutes. I also must change this value in another animation. So then the bottom one, okay? Keep in mind, we got sand at the top and the bottom. So for the bottom one, it will be 100. 20 second minus two, because we got this delay between top and bottom. So it will be 100, 118. All right, and that's it. Whatever you wanna adjust the timing, just change those two values from the top shape and the bottom shape. Let's add a little bit of text so we remember exactly how long it will take for this one to run out of sand as a reminder for ourselves. Maybe later on we got multiple presentations that use this technique. So it's good to remember how long this one be. This one is for two minutes. All right. And we are ready for our test run. So let's play this animation. Slideshow. And we can just play it as a normal slideshow from there. When I click for the first time, the animation will start. And it will take exactly two minutes for the sand to fall down from the top part to the bottom part. So the shape at the top is disappearing because we are using exit animation. And the shape at the bottom is appearing because we are using entrance animation. It's happening exactly uh, during the same time. So we got this smooth, nice effect of sand moving from the top to the bottom of this timer. All right, this will take exactly two minutes. So let me just speed up this video a little bit. Nice. I will make a duplicate of this slide and modify timing for another version of this hourglass. So you guys can use whatever version you want. So this one is two two minutes long, 120 seconds, right? Remember that. I will create one more version right now for you that will be five minutes long. So let's just duplicate this existing slide. For this new version, I will change the color of main of the sand, you can say, so we can recognize that this will be blue. And of course, I will modify this little text I got below. But first, let's adjust animation. So this time we need five minutes. So we're changing the timing for the shape at the top and also then at the bottom minus two seconds. All right. 
So at the top we need five minutes, so we got 300 seconds, and then we will take that value, move to the shape at the bottom, and again we doing the same trick. 300 seconds minus two because we got this little delay. And that's it. That's all you need to do to modify the timing in this timer. So the yellow one is two minutes and the blue one is five minutes, but you already know how to make alternative version of this one. You can make 10 minutes, one minute, whatever you need. All right, guys, thank you for watching. The link to the PowerPoint file will be in the description. As I mentioned, please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel and I will see you in the next tutorial. Bye!